Dr. Sani receives Jyoti's x-rays. The results are alarming. They reveal that she has suffered severe fractures to her right thigh and left shin. There's no evidence of any healing at all. That is our main concern, really. Because both of the breaks have failed to heal, a fibrous tissue has formed between them. Called pseudoarthrosis, these false joints support the point of fracture and makes it less painful for Jyoti to walk on her damaged legs. But Dr. Sani is concerned about the long-term effects if left untreated. Every time she's putting weight on it, her fracture moves like a joint. And we, naturally, we don't want that because there are a lot of uh, blood vessels and nerves and they could stretch and they could be damaged in the long term. The good news is that after studying Jyoti's x-rays, Dr. Sani believes that an operation to fix her legs is possible. I'm hoping that I'll give her a normal functioning, both lower limbs, so that she will walk whatever distance she wants to walk. The operation will involve the removal of the pseudoarthrotic false joints before realigning the broken bones and inserting custom-made metal alloy rods to hold them in place. If we are able to operate on her, then she will regain, I would say, at least two to three centimeters of length in her right femur and perhaps one, 1 1.5 to 2 centimeters in her left tibia. Therefore, her height probably will improve. Operating on a teenager that's only 23 and a half inches tall presents a unique challenge. In terms of chronological age, she's an adult, 16 year old, more or less adult. Whereas from practical point of view, fixing her fracture, she's a three year old child. Before proceeding, Dr. Sani wants to complete his investigation into Jyoti's condition with a series of blood tests. The aim is to confirm the underlying cause for her small and fragile body. The results may influence her operation and any future treatment. We are going to do the hormone analysis specifically to find out as to what kind of hormonal deficiencies she might have. However, at the Amge family home, there are doubts about Dr. Sani's plans to treat Jyoti. If her legs are fixed by an operation, we will be very happy. But she would need to be able to bear the pain of the operation because she is weak. And that is why we are worried and get scared. The family realizes that Dr. Sani wants to help Jyoti and they're trying hard to shake off their strong, protective instincts. But subjecting her to painful tests and treatments is something they may not be able to endure. <laughs>